Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be talking about the VR Wave prescription lenses for the HP Reverb D2. I'm going to show you first of all how to install these, but also more importantly, are they really any good? Should you get them? What's my honest opinion? Let's find out. This is VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also where you can get all your VR educational entertainment if it's your first time here to the channel. Very nice to meet you. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. By the way, if you also happen to own an Oculus Quest as well as the HP Reverb G2, VRWave did send me a pair for the Quest. Go and check out that video in the link in the description below the like button. And also, if you want to purchase one of these either for HP, the Quest or the Valve, you can get a 5% off by using the promo code VR Essentials. All right, now let me show you what you get in the box and give you my final thoughts on this thing. So first of all, thank you very much to VRWave for providing us the prescription lenses and also for giving our subscribers a 5% discount. Now, when you open the box, you will have a yellow envelope like this. And inside of the envelope, you will have a tiny little pouch, which looks pretty cool. And it's gonna serve as a protection case when maybe you're traveling or you wanna take them off or whatever inside. So it's pretty durable. And then inside of the pouch, of course, we have all the lenses. Ooh, here we go, here they are. So when we look at inside of the pouch, you'll notice first of all that they're very easy to remove from the pouch. And secondly, the actual height of where the lenses are to the base of the actual adapters is pretty high. So there's quite a large gap there to make sure that basically the lenses don't scratch the actual glass inside of the VR headset. Now, they also told me that the difference they did between the HP Reverb G2 pair that they sent me and the original Quest pairs that they had sent me previously is they added a layer to remove any blue screen effect from the actual displays coming from the VR device. This is because apparently the blue screen effects coming from a display can actually disrupt your sleeping pattern. So it was very interesting to test out between the Quest and also the HP Reverb G2, whether this would actually affect anything to do with the coloring and all these kind of different things. It's actually easier to put these on the HP Reverb G2 than it is on the Oculus Quest, simply for one reason though, that's because the HP Reverb G2 lenses, which are designed by Valve, have a very specific shape. So all you have to do is really easily find the shape and then just click them on or just rotate them a little bit, wiggle them a bit so that they can fall into place. And then let's not forget that they're very easy to remove. So if you have other people in your household who don't wear glasses, you could just pop them off and then put them back on. One of the other biggest differences between the Quest version and the Valve or the HP Reverb G2 version is that there's no magnet to be able to remove just the lenses. On the Quest, what you can do, which is really cool, is that you can just remove the lens but leave the frame in there, which means that if other people also use prescription lenses using the brand, they could just pop them on or pop them off without having to remove the actual frame itself. But with the HP Reverb G2, however, you'll have to remove the actual frame and adapter altogether before someone else could place them on the headset. But of course, I think most of us in a household wouldn't really be passing it around anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a big difference. But hopefully in the future, they will be able to upgrade and use that magnet technology, which they did for the Quest. I think that'll be really nice. But the question is, how does it fare when you put the VR headset on? Well, let's find out, but let me tell you, first of all, if you're someone who wears glasses, it's just absolutely phenomenal. It just feels so comfortable to be able to experience the HP Reverb G2 and the Valve Index facial interface in a way that is just, I mean, you really feel how comfortable it is when you don't have any glasses on your face whatsoever. I don't have to fit around with my glasses. I don't have to do anything. It's just, I don't have to, oh my God. I mean, my glasses scratch against the actual VR headset because they're too big. And this is just for me phenomenal. I can see as far as the eye can stretch all the way to the back of those mountains over there. It's just really amazing. And also there's no discoloration at all, especially when I compare it when it, to the previous Oculus Quest uh, pairs they sent me, which did not have the additional blue light filtering, which these ones do. There's no difference that I can notice anyway. I mean, even if there is one, honestly speaking, it doesn't make a difference whatsoever. Uh, there's no curb at all. It feels very, very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't increase any blurriness whatsoever. Everything is sharp. Everything is clear. Uh, everything is just working. And my comfort in VR over the last two weeks since I've been testing them with various different apps, including Half-Life Alex, Population One, Star Wars Squadrons, 
uh, <laughs> Aceto Corsa, Dirt Rally. Yesterday we did some Walking Dead live, which is on the channel. Do go and check out that video also. I mean, absolutely no issue whatsoever. Um, and also it doesn't make the headset any heavier because they're very light and very compact. So yeah, and my degrees, you know, I'm actually asthmatic by the way. Uh, so my degrees is pretty high and no issues. The glass doesn't touch my eyeball. Uh, it doesn't hurt me in any way. It just feels very, very comfortable. So really all good for me. And also the customer service actually was very good. I got response in emails pretty fast and I got them delivered within maybe 10 or 12 days from the moment that the order went through. So all good. Thanks again, VR Wave. And remember guys, you can get a 5% discount by using the promo code VR Essentials.